Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today we're gonna look at we're gonna look at something which looks a lot like space invaders. Now, don't turn off right away because there's some science gonna go on here. So you probably know Space Invaders is one of the first big uh, arcade coin-op machines. Uh, ooh, thirty percent. I'm gonna take that. So this is looking a bit like a modern Space Invaders. You're able to pick your ship. You're able to pick secondary weapons. Oh look, we even have some lore telling us about the Von Kleist class, class something or other. And here come, well here come the invaders. And so I'm just going to start shooting them here. You'll see they all look pretty much the same. They are throwing laser blasts at me, I'm hiding behind my shields. It's just like it's the late 70s all over again. Albeit with some cool music and the finest visual effects that Unity can offer. But as I whittle them down, there's something going on in the back end. You see, the game is keeping track of the performance of all of these creatures in the game, right? I say creatures, the invaders, right? So when it says generation complete, it's now going to do a bit of math on the back end. It's going to do a survival of the fittest calculation. What it's, what it's really doing is it's calculating the fitness. And right now we're on the first generation. It's figuring out which were aggressive, which were accurate, which ones seem to be working against me, and so on and so forth. And then it takes the best ones, breeds them together so their genetic characteristics carry on to the next generation, and then throws that new population against me. Oh, we get a one with a shield here. Better kill it quickly. Yes, because we don't want that to become part of the population. So yeah, this is called Darwin's Demons, and it's a very simple concept. In fact, well, it's a simple concept, and the idea is that it's a shooter where the aliens evolve based upon a genetic algorithm where the fitness uh, calculation is based upon how good the player is at killing them or how good they are at killing the player. Uh, this is something that's really, uh, I don't know, I, th I thought about this a long time ago, back in the 80s, I tried to write something like this, and, you know, an eight, an eight, a 16-bit machine, it was an Atari ST with half a megabyte of memory, a half a megabyte, yeah. <laughs> And uh, I was not up to the task. I loved the concept, did not have the skills to do it at the time, and, well, nowadays I don't have the time to do it, even though I may have the skills. So, uh, let's get some upgrades, let's see how our generations are going on. So these ones, they're now following me more, and they're following my bullets more. That doesn't look like a good piece of evolution. However, they do tend to be moving down more, which might make them get to the bottom faster. So the thing with genetic algorithms is that they will descend towards local optima, and sometimes it'll get stuck in them. So it can take a while, it can take a few generations for them to actually figure out what they want to do. So what I'm going to try and do is focus on killing these orange-eyed ones, because they're boring, right? I'm going to leave some of the other colours. You can do this. Wait, I'm going to kill this. Note that I also have the missile. The guided missile helps me a whole lot here. Damn, I was trying to kill the orange ones, not the green ones. I want the green acid monsters to survive longer so the game thinks that they are better. So we'll get more and more of these things coming. Okay, kill them here, kill them here. We kill them there, we kill them there. There we go. And the last green one. So hopefully it'll think that the green ones are more awesome and give me more green-eyed aliens in the fitness function. Okay, so we've got one. We also have an orange-eyed one. Let's take a look at the... Oh, you see, it's decided that it doesn't want to follow me so much and indeed is still moving towards my bullets, or more likely to move towards my bullets. Their fire rate has gone up, but the projectile speed has gone down. I wonder if it's because uh, low-speed projectiles mean that I spend more time dodging them. Let's, uh, let's, let's repair my shields and make my lasers faster. Another genetic anomaly. Okay, oh wow, we get a lot more green in this generation. You see that? So let's just try keeping going for the green. So I'm gonna kill everything. I'm gonna focus on killing the non-green stuff first. Which is hard because they're all kind of mixed in there, right? It's like, you know, if you're gonna attack a general population. Okay, this is, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, okay. Just trying to stay alive here. Gotta kill this though. Oh, damn it. So, I mean, obviously, 
this can turn into a bullet hell type game without any of the cool uh, bullet patterns you would see in a well-designed bullet hell game. It's not like your traditional level shooters where you, the aliens come in waves that uh, you can memorize to beat. Oh look, fire rate is going up. So they're learning that the more they shoot, the more I die. So I better start working to stop that. Oh wait! This alien, we have one of those aliens with a shield or something in it. Uh oh. I hope we don't get a whole wave full of them. Let's start here, up the middle. There's a bunch of oh, non greens there. <laughs> okay. Of course, it's very hard to commentate while talking. So, oh, there we got him. We got alien with a shield. They are learning. And the secondary system depleted thing, that's the guided missile, which the it, it maps to, oh wow, this thing's running that way. It knows to fear me. Oh. Oh man, it's, it's dodging me. That's what it's doing. <sighs> Five generations survived. 500 bonus credits, but I've lost a couple of lives, so this may not, oh god, we get total we got a red, white, and blue alien. That's awesome. It's the French flag. Sort of. <laughs> or the North Korean flag. Or the British flag. Or the US flag. Yes. Red, white, and blue is a pretty common set of colors out there. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Lasers, lasers everywhere. Yeah, they're definitely learning to shoot me. I didn't even look at my generation uh, output. I should have done that. Secondary systems depleted. Okay, okay. Oh, they're coming down, they're coming down! No, no, you don't, no, you don't. Okay, whew. Generation 5 survived. Let's see what we've got here. So, they, oh, so they now tend to avoid my ship. And they don't tend to avoid, they don't tend to follow my bullets, which seems to make sense. Enemy rate of fire continues to climb upwards as they realize that shooting me is the fastest way to uh, defeating me. Okay, gotta get another life. Damn, 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 I just don't have enough biomatter to do anything useful. Ooh, new level, new background, new swirly stuff. And of course, all that swirly stuff is being rendered in Unity. This is a student project from the University of Idaho. They have a games development group, I guess, there, and, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's more than, it's one thing to just have the idea of evolving, and the other to turn it into something as uh, well-produced as this. Okay, I say well-produced. It's a student game, but it has sound, it has art, it has music, it has levels, it has aliens that are sitting still while I shoot them, and there's this one here, which I shall destroy. This is the boss alien. Listen to that boss alien music. Boss alien, this, ah, uh, hey, it hit me, damn it. <laughs> this thing knows to avoid me. It's, it has evolved. This, this is why this thing is surviving, because it's a coward. It's gonna be the alien president. Oh, thank God. Or rather, no, thank God. Darwin, because this is all about evolution, right? Okay, so yeah, look at this thing. Lifespan and accuracy for that last one are stupidly high, so it's becoming, it's becoming the dominant force in the alien evolutionary um, gene pool thing. Anyway, let's be clear. This is, uh, it's quite a simple game, right? So you know, you're not gonna buy this and get the most amazing experience. You're gonna buy this and say this is a really interesting concept applied by a bunch of students, because this is actually a student game from the University of Idaho, and i got to say, I'm completely amazed at the quality of work that you can produce now with very simple free tools. Yeah, I mean, it's it's here to just to illustrate a really cool concept that uh, genetic algorithms can solve, you know, defeating player problems. As they have just demonstrated, I finally failed after Generation 7. You can take a look at the, you know, how the things evolved, they, they charged differently, and they avoided differently, and they shot faster, and all that. Uh, I mean, it's sometimes hard to tell 
why an evolution went a particular way. I mean, that's one of the problems with genetic algorithms, is that frequently a solution will be arrived at by an automated system, and you will have no idea why that's the, the good solution. Anyway, we also have a mode switch. You can switch to experimental mode. Experimental mode lets you adjust you know, the mutation rate and all these other parameters that go into the genetic algorithm. You can adjust the input uh, for the initial biome. You can give yourself a hundred lives. You can give yourselves a hundred thousand biomatter so you can buy the most awesome lasers and everything. But ultimately, they will learn and they, they will learn to fear you and then they will learn to kill you. Now to keep it interesting, there are a ton of different ships to unlock. This one has homing lasers. I'm scan, I'm just gonna use the basic homing uh, missiles. It's gonna unlock the 30% increased attack speed bonus. Those come by uh, those come by basically achieving things such as generating waves with 90% green-eyed or red-eyed or whatever. And when you kill those, you get an achievement which unlocks a feature. So yeah. Right away you can see that this thing is slowly firing slow lasers that slowly kill, whittle down these aliens. These are the boring aliens. The ones that are going to send back their screams across the genetic comms network. And then back at home they will take their essence, the essence of what worked and what didn't, and we'll forge it into something more powerful, more capable of taking down the planet that I, wait, why am I defending a sun? Isn't Space Invaders I'm supposed to be defending a planet? Do my people live on the sun? Is that what they're trying to tell us? Am I, am I the sun people? Well, the sun people of course have solar power, so I'm going to just basically maximize my lasers and just show you how awesome this thing can be. So now I've got something which will be able to throw out lasers at ridiculous speeds. There, look at that. Lasers, lasers, lasers everywhere. Killing things, doing more killing. You see that the different colored eyes, you may have noticed this, you may not have noticed this, but the eyes are the primary thing that control how they attack. So the blue ones have this split, the purple ones have these wavy beams, the yellow-eyed ones just kind of shoot straight down, the green-eyed ones shoot sideways. And, uh, you know, depending upon how well you are able to take them down, of course, you will get different colors. Anyway, after 60 generations of this epic laser, what happens is they just start throwing lasers at you at incredible speed, and <laughs> it gets hard to stay alive. Even with, you know, hundreds of lives to start with, I've lost 65 of my lives getting here. So even in the harshest conditions, the genetic algorithm will eventually learn to kick your butt. It's just like real life. If you keep on using the most powerful antibiotics, the pathogens will learn and they will eventually wipe you out. Although they will probably wipe you out using some sort of awful flesh-eating bug rather than spitting green lasers at you. The game is Darwin's Demons. It will be released on the 13th, which is tomorrow. Take a look at it. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.